Hello? Is this thing on? Hey there, it's Finch, your favorite director. Sorry Socks, sorry Sosa. And I'm here to do a fun little time capsule activity with you. So bear with me because it's gonna take some time. I'm pausing for laughter because obviously you guys thought that was the funniest thing you've ever heard. Anyways, I'm wearing my Kesem shirt. I'm surrounded by some Kesem swag and it's in the middle of camp. So we're officially wrapping up day two. Um, that's huge. And so I feel like that's something to uh, be a little bit introspective about and start to really think about what we're doing here and what our years in Kesem have been like. And I thought that a really fun activity for us to do together, even through this recorded video, would be to go ahead and build a time capsule. Uh, now, originally, when we were having in-person camp, which obviously we couldn't have this year, uh, we were going to do an activity where we had you write letters to yourself, and then we would take all those letters and keep them with us for a year and mail them to you if you graduated or give them back to you at the next year's camp in 2021, which would have been a really cool idea. Um, still something that we're ruminating on and thinking about, but not necessarily something that's very feasible, and we didn't want to put any hassle on you guys to have to send things back to us from your custom kits. Um, but that being said, we still thought that this was a really cool idea just because creating a time capsule, it's all about building a solid foundation of something or a group of things that you want to remember later. And that will be really cool to look back on and what better time to do that than such unprecedented times like the times that we're living in right now. Um, so first, I guess, to start off with, um, I am a bit of a nerd, so I did a little bit of looking into the history of time capsules, uh, just so I could know why they started, how they started, when they started, um, and just kind of who really began this, like, interesting technique of preservation of knowledge and goods and ideas for the purpose of passing it on to future generations. And that's what makes something a time capsule, I found out. Um, not just archaeologists digging up a bone or archaeologists finding a cool building hidden underground. Um, I don't know when that would happen, but let's say they're knocking away lava at Pompeii. All of the city of Pompeii under all that volcanic ash, that's not a time capsule. What is a time capsule is if someone purposely puts together artifacts or things of meaning for the purpose of preservation for future use or future finding and knowledge um, to hear about what you've been doing to learn about previous histories and previous cultures um, but today we're going to make our own just so that we can learn about ourselves a year from today um, and hopefully you'll bear with me and get a little bit sentimental get a little bit introspective I'm super stoked. I think this is going to go really, really well, and I hope that you guys really dive into it. I've already collected a bunch of my favorite things, um, but I, I've gotten a bit of a bit ahead of myself. Like I said, I looked into the history, and I thought it was really interesting because the first, or one of the first, I'm sure there were more earlier ones that people just didn't write about, but one of the first known time capsules was found in 1742. Uh, in Boston, actually, which I think is really cool because I personally am just two weeks away from moving to Boston myself, and that's a place where I grew up, uh, visiting my grandparents and running around the streets of downtown Boston, the South End, and stuff like that. And this first time capsule was actually found in a weather vane, this grasshopper-shaped weather vane at the top of Faneuil Hall, which is a very historic building in downtown Boston that holds a lot of history in a very historic area. So I thought it was really cool that that was the first known time capsule found. They put a bunch of stuff inside this weather vane and left it on the top of Faneuil Hall. And I guess it fell down and people discovered that there were things hidden inside of it from 1742 is what they carbon dated it to. And there was writing in it that confirmed that. So that's super, super, super cool. And today we're kind of going to make our own, um, it can look however you want to look. You can take my ideas or you can do your own thing. Um, but I gathered some stuff and you can take my advice or you can put together your entirely own time capsule if you want. Um, but just come along and build one with me. 
Uh, so to start, I'm going to give you some time um, to go collect your things. Uh, while you do that, I'm just going to list off some of the things that you could go collect, and then I'm going to put a screen up that lists all those things so you can use that as kind of like a spot check and decide what things you want to bring and what things you don't want to bring, um, kind of like a checklist. Uh, so just to read it off, um, some of the things that I recommend you go grab are a journal or some loose leaf paper or some printer paper, however you best like to take your notes. I have my handy journal here with me that I write all my cast some notes and ideas and you can see all my little Carl doodles and things like that up there. Um, so I'm going to write myself some letters and some notes with this. Um, so whatever you find sentimental value to or however you like to write yourself a note, sign up and do it with that. Um, so go grab a journal and some paper, maybe grab some colorful pens. I'm a big pen guy so you can grab some pens or some markers or crayons, whatever you want to use to draw yourself a picture, write yourself a note, whatever you need to do. Um, finally, you can also grab, not finally, sorry, you can also grab an envelope if you want to package away your note to yourself, or you can just kind of fold your things up and keep it all together. Really up to you. I'm going to put all my stuff in a box, so I don't need an envelope, but sometimes it's a cute idea to put it into a little sealed letter so then you can open it up a year from now, two years from now, whenever you decide to open up your time capsule. Um, you, caught, you should also, since it's Kesem, go grab... I don't know, maybe three to five fun, sentimental Kesem items that are really sentimental and mean a lot to you, but that are also things that you're okay with packing away or including in a letter, they're small enough or they're big enough, but you're still willing to part with them for a year. Um, something that you're super excited about surprising yourself with in a year from now. Um, uh, maybe a compliment sheet or some of your compliments from your compliment bags from previous years of camp. Um, just to explain what that is to those that are new this year, hopefully you'll join us again next year and hopefully we'll be in person and you'll get to do these things called compliment bags where everyone in your unit writes nice things about you and the things that they've learned and that they appreciate about you and that all goes into this little bag or on a compliment sheet is what the counselors usually do and you get to keep it at the end of camp and you get to look back on it and it's a really nice and a wholesome reminder of your custom family and how we all value each other. So grab that stuff if you have it. Um, and then maybe a letter or two, hopefully all of you over the course of last year have received at least one letter from us, um, from our outreach coordinators and from the rest of our counselors. We wrote a lot of letters in the past couple of years, so I hope that each of you has access to one or two. Uh, and then if you're feeling really fun, maybe grab a, a picture or two if you have any printed out or go to a computer if you can and print out um, even just a black and white picture or a color picture if you want, whatever you're looking for either your favorite picture of yourself from this year, from recently, or some of your favorite camp pictures, anything that you would be excited about seeing in a year from now or two years from now, whatever you decide. So with that, I'll give you some time. I'll put that up and let you go gather your goods, your goodies, and uh, I'll meet you back here in about three minutes. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me so darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand Stand by me Stand by me If the sky that we look upon Should tumble and fall Or the mountain should crumble Just as long as you stand, stand by me And darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me, stand by me
stand by me, stand by me. Welcome back. I hope you went and grabbed a bunch of stuff. Um, I grabbed a bunch of my stuff and I laid it out behind me. So I figured um, some cool things that I could do is to show you what I gathered. Uh, hopefully you have all of your stuff that you just gathered up uh, in front of you and the box that you want to put it in or the envelope that you're going to put it all in at the end of that. Um, so I'm going to go grab some of the stuff that I'm going to show you and I'm going to show it off uh, during this call. To preface, I am in our other co-director Sosa's room. Um, this isn't my bedspread, but it is really nice anyways. Um, so, I grabbed a bunch of different things. I figured that I would put in one of my plush Carls from two years of camp ago, actually. So I really wanted to include this. He's our mascot for Camp Kesem, and I knew that he would be something that I would be really excited to see in a year from now. I'm also going to put in my Camp Kesem bandana that I keep on the banister in my bed in my room. Um, I haven't worn it in a while. I usually only wore it at camp. And since this is my last year of camp, I figured, you know, I could put it away for a year and be super excited to see it a year from now. I also, like I said earlier, grabbed one of my years of compliment sheets. This is what the counselors do when you all get your compliment bags. We leave these up in the admin cabin and during our breaks we go and write each other really awesome notes. I also got one of my favorite letters. I got the near the fun nickname Fonch last year. It's backwards right now, but this is from my co-director Socks. She wrote me a cute little note um, for my birthday and I thought it was really fun, so I'm gonna include it and go look at it again in a year from now and be really happy to see it. I also have my Kesem postcard that I had stuck to my com uh, the corner of my mirror in my room for the past couple years. Um, I got this at Summit, which is our big counselor training leadership conference in Chicago, um, and I've had it on my mirror ever since to remind me to live my custom self best self every day whenever I check my outfit out and look at what I look like for my day. I also printed out, like I said, one of my favorite pictures from camp. This is me in touchdown from my first year of camp, three years ago now, wow. Um, and on the back it says, for the kids, because that's kind of our mantra to keep us camp focused over the course of the year while we're planning and fundraising and setting everything up for you guys. I also grabbed some friendship bracelet strings in Kesem-ish colors, what I could do out of the supplies that I had, um, because I'll always want to make a friendship bracelet a year from now, obviously, but I never have the string, so this will be a super fun gift. I also have this little canvas of a finch that little Bo, if any of you know her, gave me for our Christmas gift exchange one year. Um, it's been up in my room and I think that it's something that I'll be really excited to get kind of as a gift again in a year from now. I also have this Kesem magnet that's been on my fridge for the past two years that I got for fundraising on our big fundraising day that helped us get all the money that we needed to put on our summer camp. Um, so this is going to be super fun and hopefully I'll put it up in whatever house I'm living in in a year from now. And then, of course, I couldn't not include my collection of my name tags from a bunch of years in the past. I have some of the ones from my leadership conference that I talked about, some Make the Magic, some camp ones. This is from a big fundraising ball that I went to. So, obviously, I got to include some name tags. And then, last but not least, I have three friendship bracelets that have since fallen off. All of these are from my... Actually, these two are from my first year of camp, and then this one is from my last year of camp, last year. And then finally, like I said, I have my journal, and I'm going to write myself a letter in there. So I hope that you take a second and piece everything together, uh, get all your stuff ready, and uh, we'll start with the journal section in just a second. I'm here in my nice little living room bed with my lean on me pillow 
to finish up our time capsule creation. Um, the biggest part of the time capsule or the most wholesome part of the time capsule is definitely the journal section. Uh, like I said, hopefully you previously went and grabbed some paper or some loose leaf paper or a journal or your diary, whatever you write in, um, if you do any writing. Uh, and if not, I hope you grab some stuff anyway so you can write yourself a letter that you can pack away for a year and then open up. Um, and I'll explain what to do with all of the stuff once we're done with our journaling. Um, but I wanted to start by saying once you have your handy dandy journal or your paper and your pens or your markers, I'm going to give you some ideas on what you can write about. So the general template for a future letter is to start with dear future self or dear Finch in the future, whatever you want to say, you can write it directly to yourself. You can write it from yourself, from whatever perspective you want, get as creative as you'd like. Um, so I'm going to start by writing a letter from me to my future self. So I'm going to say dear future Finch. And then I'll go through and I'll highlight some of the things that you could write about. Really, you can take this and write about anything that you want, um, anything that's happening to you in your life right now that's happened to you previously, anything that you think could be interesting or fun or entertaining to read in a year from now or two years from now, whenever you decide to open your time capsule. Um, so some ideas to prompt you on your little writing journey, and then I'm going to sit here and do my journal writing and give you some time to do your journal writing, and then we'll come together and I'll pack up my time capsule and you can choose how to pack up yours. Um, but the first thing that I think you could write about is your current unit and the amount of years that you've been in camp. If you remember any of your other camp units, you could list like in 2015 summer, I was unit two and then I was unit two again and then I was unit three and now I'm finally unit four. Um, and you can write whether you've branched into teen camp, if you've hit 14 and up, you can write your counselors' names if you know them, especially write about those new counselors because they're not going to be new for long. So you'll remember them next year and the year after that, and that would be super fun to remember their first year of camp as well. Um, or you can especially highlight those seniors like myself and uh, make sure that you remember them for the year next year uh, or two years from now whenever you decide to open this because this is their last year, so you want to remember them. So that's an idea. You can write about your unit and how many years you've been in Kesem and things like that. Uh, you can write about your favorite camp songs. Personally, my two favorite camp songs are There Was a Great Big Moose, even though I mess it up all the time, uh, which you clearly saw at last night's um, closing ceremony show. Um, I always mess up the last line. Sorry, Socks. She carried the weight on that one, uh, or carried the team on that one. But I also really like Hey Burrito and Boa Constrictor. Those are some of my favorites. Um, that being said, I always have a really hard time with Princess Pat. So maybe you can write about the ones that you don't like as much or the ones that you can just never remember the words for. Hopefully you can go back into this maybe later this week if you learn any new songs through the different videos that we share with you today or over the course of this week. Um, one of my favorite new ones is called My Aunt Uva. It's about a lot of chickens. I used to not like it and now I'm obsessed with it. So keep your eye out for that one. More things you could write about include how you've been dealing with the past couple of months and the transition that has occurred with the coronavirus impacting your life, what life has been like with you in quarantine, hanging out with your family, how school has changed and your relationship to technology and your family and all of those things that have been so impactful in your life. You can write about how all of that has changed because think about it a year from now, hopefully everything is fine. Two years from now, hopefully everything is much better and we're back to a little bit closer to what normal was before and you're back in school and you're back hanging out with your friends and it's safe to go see people in large amounts. Um, but right now it's really important to remember where we are and that would be really important to look back on and see how much your life has changed or not changed in a year or two years whenever you decide to open this. So that could be cool writing about what your past year in 2020 has been like kind of as a, a wrap up as we enter into the eighth month of the year. Lots of things to talk about there. Also, I think a really fun thing to do, um, since we don't say enough nice things about ourselves, we say we tend to say a lot of nice things to other people, but we don't put ourselves up enough. And at Kesem, one of our big tenants is put-ups. So I think that you should write a list of 10 of your favorite things about yourself or 10 nice things about yourself. 
um, whether you think that you just have really nice eyes or you think that you're a really good chef or you're like, I made a really especially good friendship bracelet for the first time this year. You can write about any of those things. So I think it's really important. And I really hope that all of you do this. Write a list of 10 nice things or things that you really enjoy about yourself so that in a year from now, you can look back on that and see how you've grown and see if you got better at certain things or how your relationship with yourself has changed. Um, another thing that you can do is write about how excited you are for next year's camp or how excited you were for this year's camp and what that transition from in-person camp to Kesem at home has been like. Another cool thing would be to write about what you're most excited for for Kesem at home, our virtual camp that we are doing right now, because it is only day two. So there's a lot more to come. So take a look through that schedule that you get sent every day and decide what are some of the things that you're really looking forward to. And then a year from now, when you open this, it'll be so cool to see how that turned out, that pre and post evaluation of all these things that you're super excited about. And then another cool thing that you could do if you have the resources or the time, or if you just want to put in the effort, you can go find some of your favorite pictures. Like I showed you earlier, I printed out one of my favorite camp pictures from two years ago, and you can tape it directly onto your journal page or your letter to yourself, or you can just include it in your box or your envelope. Um, whether it's your favorite camp picture, or even if it's just your favorite picture of yourself from this past year, um, that'll be a really cool way to see how you've grown in the past year or two since you opened this. Um, and I think that could be really fun. So those are my ideas, things that you could do. Um, I'm just going to kind of sit here and start writing my letter. Um, and while I do that, I'll probably speed up the video uh, so you can see me writing and take some time to write your own letter as well. So we'll come back and we'll regroup in a minute. All right, guys, I hope that you were able to write yourself a nice long letter in your journal or on your pieces of paper, whatever you decided to bring about all those things that we referenced or about any other things that you wanted to include so that you could remember them for next year. Uh, if you wrote about anything outside of what I recommended, I would love to hear about it the next time you see me in your cabin chats or in any of your free selects or in office hours during free selects please tell me what you wrote about. I think that would be so cool. Um, but if you want to keep it private, I also totally get that. So I left for a second. Um, I'm going to go through and what I'm going to do since I put it in my handy dandy Kesem notebook, I'm going to 
tear out my letter, but first I wanted to show you the artwork I made. Oh, it's backwards. It says Kesem at home. I spent a long time, um, instead of writing my letter, writing a nice little fun thing for Kesem at home because um, I'm a very visual person. But I grabbed my letter. I grabbed my compliment sheet, my favorite Kesem card that someone gave me, my bandana like I showed you, a handful of my old name tags. You can see that I've been here for a while because I've collected quite the collection of name tags. Some Kesem memorabilia like my magnet and my postcard. One of my favorite camp pictures that I'm going to include, I'm going to wrap it up with my uh, journal letter and then my present from Lil Bo, my fun little Finch um, canvas, and then my friendship bracelets and my friendship bracelet string. Obviously got to include that as my present for myself in a year from now. So I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to put them in my box. So I have to put them in my box and then I'm going to seal it up for myself um, tomorrow. And then I will write open in 2021 and um, I'll stow it away with my, the rest of my stuff when I make my move up to Boston. And in a year from now, I will go back in and I'll open it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an alarm on my phone as well as a Google Calendar update. And I'm setting something on my Gmail you can schedule an email to send. So I'm scheduling an email reminder to send to myself a year from now to open it. So from one of my emails, I'll get an email to that email and hopefully I'll still have my personal Gmail account in a year and it'll send right to me and then remind me all about this box of fun goodies, my time capsule that I made with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, the goal here, like I said in originally when we planned it for in-person camp, was for us to collect it all so you can hold on to it yourself and hopefully we can get back to having in-person friends and family days during this school year. If not, keep it until camp, bring it to camp, open it at camp, that would be so fun. But if we can have those in-person events over the course of the next year, um, feel free to bring it to those events and we can collect those for you and give them to you at in-person camp or we can mail them to you uh, if we'd end up not being able to have in-person camp again. But fingers crossed that we're back to in-person camp by next year. So with that being said, I think I'm done. Thank you so much for building your time capsules with me. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.